Welcome back, folks. Another beautiful day here on the Salmon River. Me and my buddy Cameron. And now we're going to give her a go. You may recognize this pool from uh, my last video. Well, there's fish here. It's a good pool. So we're going to come back. Uh, it's usually what we do anyway. We come up this river to this pool, maybe a little further, and fish our way out. It just so happens that the only fish we got was in this pool last time. So uh, I'll throw the tom up now, and we're going to give her a go. Uh, first fly of the day is going to be a dark wing blue charm with a yellow butt. So I'll show you that, of course, here. Should be a good morning. Let's get to it. Definitely got a bad habit of doing this. I seldom record the first cast on the fly rod. I should have because we've only been fishing for 10 minutes. Cameron has rolled as a fish and I just had one on, what, three seconds? Yeah. Probably three seconds. Um, Subsurface uh, wet fly. So there's a few fish willing to take. So we're going to get mounted up now and uh, see what we can do. Got him. That was beautiful. Woo! That was beautiful, man. He's sitting in that rolling. I don't want to play no two hour. Yeah, he's a bit smaller. He's going back anyway. So. Oh, there's a rock in my reel. All right, you want to uh, just go down a tiny bit, my buddy. Just lay the net in the water and I'll put it in. Don't, right, don't, uh, don't go out that far. Come back. Man, he, he wants to go. Come up, Cam. Like parallel to me. Ready? He's not ready. <laughs> Hold on now. What's he doing? I'm going to torque him now. Is he as small as I think? No, he's not small. He's like Is he not? I tagged that. I tagged that. Was I'll see. I'll get a look at him. He's come back down now. Okay, keep him in water. Keep him in water. Perfect. You hold that for me. Yeah, that's got to go back. <laughs> beauty fish there. Real beauty fish. A little closer, my buddy. Keep in the water, letting breathe. Beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. Get some good footage in? Yeah, perfect. He's wanting to kick off there. He's wanting to kick off, but I'm just making sure he's good. So this fish I just landed here is a completely healthy fish. You can see here he's trying to kick off. I just hold them until they kick off really aggressively. So I figured while I have a very healthy fish in my hands, I'd take this time to show you guys a method I use sometimes to help them kick off a little quicker. Put your hand down in front of their face, create a bunch of oxygen. All that is is moving rushing water. A bunch of oxygen to rush through their gills. And the second I take my hand away, boom, he's raring to go. Perfect. Well, that was beautiful. This pool produces once again. So I'm just gonna have a little break here. Cam's gonna have that. We rested it for about 10, 15 minutes after. Cam's gonna give her a go now. 
He's got on a bomber as well. Not often I would fish a bomber in a pool like this, but I figure we're moving fish on a wet fly and they're not really fully committing. Let me throw on a bomber and they're either gonna fully commit or they're not gonna commit at all. And uh, honestly, before I turn the camera on there, I rose that guy three times. I got a bad habit of turning the camera off. I really do. I miss out on some awesome footage. So Cam's gonna fish that there now. And the morning's only young. I'll put up the time now. It's a beautiful day, beautiful weather. Prime, in my opinion, just what you want. It's looking good. That's the bomber that did it for me just then. Barbless, of course. A beautiful Skittles bomber. So, as I was talking about my bad habit, not recording first cast, I just rolls one twice right there again, flicking upstream. So we're gonna try to get Cameron on him now. He's down a little further, like a tiny bit. Not much. I'm using the Skittles, he's got on a dirty bomber. Whether it matters or not, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can rise him again, just replicating what I was doing before. That's all I was doing. Not even giving it any action. Usually I like to twitch my, my bombers. Not something to see done a whole lot, but I have a great deal of success with it. Right around there he was. Right there. But no, just don't wanna come back. You could do literally everything right and everything the same. Sometimes the fish just doesn't cooperate. So we're gonna leave that alone. We'll let Cam work that. I think he's gonna use a half inch wet fly there now. So I'm gonna fish this little V, mend it, and let my bug drift pretty naturally down it. Then once it gets down here to these two runs, fish will sit behind these two rocks, I guarantee you. That's what that, that's what that little run is, just a rock. There's a fish sitting behind it. So cast into the V, mend just to get a natural drift. And let her come on down and stream down in the run. Cast out, mend, and let her go. So we're just up above now, really the main run there. Guarantee you some fish shoot up through here, if not all of them. So we're gonna fish this, same as the last video. I mean, I hate to kind of put out a repeat bit of content for you guys, but this is what I do on this river. I uh, generally come to this pool and work my way down. So, hey, it's a routine and it's a routine for a reason. I really want to get that right there. Let the slack go. Once that gets there, strip that in pretty aggressively. Seems to be what they want today. Well, you guys seen, I was just filming Cam's dry fly. Look at that. That's how it goes sometimes. Missed the take, but man, they were coming pretty good. Uh, walk up, Cam, so I can net in here. That'd be ideal. What do you think of that? He's ready. You get his head up, skimming across on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
That's a nice one, Cam. Try to keep him in the water there. Look at that fly. What do you think of that? Here we go. You want a quick photo? He's good, he's good. <laughs> no, I don't want a quick photo. That was a mess. Well, good job, my buddy. That fellow's gone. You gonna have video with me with him? You think, yes, boy. I was just gonna say, what do you think of that? I was getting ready to go out. And I'll go help this fella uh, net a fish now. You want a net in or a... No. Never mind, he do not want a net. <laughs> anyway, I'll get fishing there now. Now in a second. Got him. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. He looked that right at his feet just then. I just took my fly in as well. Dragging across the top. He's got a lot of life in him. That's why he wants to net him. Wow. Man, he's he's ready to go. Area, you want me to just let him out? Okay. That's what he wants. He'll sit there, no? He's good. He's gone. There you go. Awesome, buddy. Thank you, Good stuff. All right, y'all. So we're going to pack her up here now. We had a lovely morning, an absolutely fantastic morning. Honestly, you can't ask for much better than that. So uh, we drove out early this morning, got here pretty early, and uh, waited till it brightened up a bit before we cast the line, and that usually does me well in this river. So it was an awesome morning, dry fly fishing for Atlantic salmon here in Newfoundland. Wish I would have got some more takes on video, but man, are they ever hard to get. Are they ever hard to get. So I know this wasn't a great big adventure, but it sure was a fun session we put in for fishing. So uh, thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and uh, we'll catch you on the next fishing adventure.